Hi, I'm Linnea from Consulman Estate Winery. Today we're going to be talking about different glassware options. You've probably seen lots of different glasses. We're not going to go into too much detail. You have to come and see me for that. But I will go into a little bit of why each of the glasses are shaped the way they are and what kind of wine we're putting in each of those. So champagne flutes are shaped a really particular way. There is a history to it, a kind of reasoning for it. In the past, champagne used to be really sour and really bitter, so nobody wanted to taste it. So they designed this glass to launch the wine to the back of your throat where you can't taste it, but you're still drinking it. It's also designed to hold the bubbles, because really that's what sparkling wine's all about. So if you look at this, it holds onto the bubbles really nicely. In our standard tasting glass here, same kind of amount of pour, it doesn't look nearly as pretty as it does in the champagne glass. So next we're going to talk about some of your white wine glass options. We've got four different ones here for you to see. First one, this one's our tasting glass that we usually use on the bar, but it's also really, really nice for aromatic whites because the top of it kind of closes more, so you're trapping all those aromatics. This is your standard white wine glass here. This one is a little bit more open than the other one if you look at the two tops. This big guy here, you usually see it more for red wines, but it's also really, really good for any kind of super oak white, especially your oak chardonnays. Because you have this big wide bowl, it's allowing a lot of oxygen to come into there and allow a lot of those aromatics to be released. And then you've got this monster on the end. This guy here is specifically designed for Rieslings. Now it's particularly large. I've seen a lot smaller ones around, but the bowl shape is very similar to this, so you're allowing a lot of oxygen in there because there's a lot of very complex aromatics and complicated Rieslings. But the biggest difference is this lip at the top. And what that's doing is directing the wine to the tip of your tongue. So when you drink it, it kind of curls around that little lip that's on there um, and puts a lot more of the flavor at the front because Riesling is typically very acidic. So if it hits the sides of your mouth, it's actually going to taste exceptionally acidic. And you're not going to get as much of those flavors in there as you could with that direction on the tip of your tongue. Now we're going to talk about some of the red glasses. And I've got, again, four different glasses for this. This one here, you probably saw last time, this one was used for a lot of your whites. This one we're using for any kind of light red, unoaked typically. We have a bunch of those options here at Consumer. We've got a few unoaked Pinots, unoaked Merlot, and unoaked Shiraz. They don't need oxygen exposure, so you don't need a big bowl to kind of allow that. We also have some of these here, those stemless glasses that people seem to really love. Don't need these. There's a reason for the stem on this glass, and the reason for that is temperature control. When you go to a party and you see some guy holding their glass like this, you're changing the temperature of the wine. You're changing the way that wine tastes, the way, the way that wine feels, the way that wine acts on your palate. You don't want to change it. The temperature is there for a reason. You don't use these. Then you've got your two big guys here. Two different uh, glasses designed in two different regions of France. So the big bowl one, the fish bowl, a lot of people refer to it as, is the burgundy glass. So those are for your burgundy varietal. We already mentioned the Ogi Chardonnays, but the red version of burgundy is your Pinot Noir. So typically your nice, big, bold, oaky Pinot Noir, you want a lot of that oxygen in there, just like with the white, to allow it to kind of open up, breathe. And then you've got the taller one here with a little bit of a more closed up top. And this is for your uh, Bordeaux wines. So Bordeaux, you're talking your Merlots, your Cabernet Sauvignon, your Cabernet Franc. With those ones, you don't necessarily want quite so much oxygen exposure because the flavors and aromatics are a lot more delicate. That's why your bowl is a little bit more closed up than with the burgundy. The last thing to mention, of course, is how full do I fill this? If you look at the glass itself, close up, then you can see that there is a widest part of each of these glasses. And where you want to actually fill that wine to is just like a finger width below that widest part. So that's about as much wine as you'd want to put in there. Now I could fit a lot more in that glass, but if you're looking to taste it properly, then that's as much as you'd want to put in. So once again, I am Linnea at Consumen Estate Winery. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please be sure to check us out online. We've got Twitter, Facebook, Full Nine Yards. And of course, come and see us here. If you want to know any more about wine, just keep following our page because we'll have lots more posts too.